All right, everybody, welcome to the WRIRA Daily Market Recap. Oh, what a day today, huh? <laughs> a good eight hours of trading, uh, all for nothing. So <laughs> you can see we finished exactly flat on the S&P 500. I'd say, you know, we're a little green, we're a little red. Uh, we kind of expected this today, right? A uh, little bit of positioning for earnings season, a um, lot of anxiety, right? Is it December all over uh, with the first earnings coming out tomorrow? Is it going to be ugly? Is it going to be good? Um, you know, we've overcome a lot of other obstacles in this market the past few uh, uh Maybe about, what, five, six weeks. Uh, we've really overcome a lot of things. Recession talk, yield curve inversions, uh, all kinds of stuff. Border crises, trade wars. You name it, we've had it. Um, and, you know, this is where we are. We're a uh, sliver away from the all-time high and just need a little bit of a catalyst to get over that. So we'll see if earnings uh, season is the catalyst. Tomorrow, of course, we have um, JP Morgan, PNC, and uh, I believe Chase tomorrow. So all that today was much about a do about nothing. You know, the big talk right now is the Uber IPO. Uh, they released their public filing. So now you get a little bit of a look into their real numbers and stuff. You know, the the numbers have always been kind of secretive with you, Uber, you know, and especially with the new programs like Uber Eats. Uh, before people get into this stock, they're going to want to know exactly how that program's working and stuff. It, we're, we're, the team will take a look. Our team will take a look at that, and, and we'll give you guys any insight that we see on it. Yeah, let's kind of pop over to our charts, though, and let's take a quick look. Um, you know, it's Thursday, and we're rolling into a big Friday, so we'll make it a nice, quick, tight show today. Um, you can see here the the pattern is pretty much the same, right? We've come off this fast channel here where we just rocketed right back to that 2800 level. Then we had a little battle there, and now we're back in rocket mode, sort of. Uh, we started lift off, and now we're a little in the holding pattern. Uh, you know, the last four days, there you go. One, two, three, four. Look at those tight bars there. Look at those tight ranges. Uh, it, it's like a coiled spring right now. So we, we think earnings are going to be a little bit on the surprise side. Uh, the bar has been lowered. Uh, it's all going to depend on guidance, uh, guidance going forward. And we'll see how that rolls tomorrow morning. It's always interesting to hear Jamie Dimon and uh, JP Morgan's report. You know, on the stocks that we're playing right now, uh, Monster had a little bit of a pullback today, but not nothing to worry about. You know, it's a soft market. And, you know, after that big run up it's had, it's nice consolidation before we make another move up higher. The one stock we're in right now that's got a little rocked was AKS, but it just came back to the bottom of that channel. And so we're going to hold tight a little bit. You see, the last time it did this, touch this area, it took about six trading days and it was back over $3. Let's see if we get that kind of boost off this. Um, as long as we're in that channel, we're not going to panic because we got plenty of time on the contracts. Not an ideal situation, but we'll, t we'll, we'll manage it. Uh, retail, you know, had a big day yesterday, a little bit of softness today. Again, market orientated probably. Uh, trading right around that uh, Fibonacci 50% level. So, we think retail is going to really benefit from earnings season, uh, especially XRT. So we're going to keep this play. We're all the way out to the end of summer on these, just right outside the money at 50 bucks too. Our oil play, down about five cents today, but still breaking out nicely. Um, we're going to ride this. We've got some $20 calls out to uh, August, and those are looking pretty right now. We're already a little bit profitable on this trade. Uh, other than that, you know, we've got the Cloudera trade still. This is a longer trade. We're out in some leaps on this. So we're, may, you know, we're watching to make sure that it, this bottom is good. And if it is, we're going to, right now we're out in some longer leaps all the way out to January. But once we start seeing a good move, because we love this story both with Cloudera. So we're just looking to enter a second position here. And we'll let you know if we do. But overall, we like the we like the tone of the market right now. You know, the last couple of days have been pretty much paint dry days, but we knew that coming into this week, uh, that with earnings season kicking off on Friday and all this uncertainty about uh, earnings growth and earnings recessions and things like that, global growth. Uh, you know, there's a lot of questions that'll be answered in this earnings season. So we think that it's going to be good answers, but we're ready if it's not. Always have a contingency plan, right? And so let's pop back over and check the old news cycle real quick before we let you guys go. 
you know, we'll refresh this page here. You can see J. Crew is considered an IPO for its Matterwell clothing brand. I don't even know Matterwell. <laughs> Sorry, gang. Herm Kane. Uh, it looks like even the Republicans don't want him for Fed chairman. Uh, don't blame him. Don't blame him. I don't know if he's the right per person for that job. Um, you know, some interesting news is coming out. Uh, it hasn't quite hit here. Here you go. Obama White House counsel Gregory Craig charged by federal pro prosecutors over alleged Ukraine connections. So that'll be an interesting development, right? Remember way back when this Mueller thing started, we were saying, watch out because that's a wide net that Mueller's throwing out there. And there's no nothing on this net that says it can only catch people with R's after their name. <laughs> and so I think we're seeing the first reveal, re revelation of that. Other than that, gang, it was a quiet, nice, quiet day, right? Julian uh, Assange was arrested. Uh, we'll see how that shakes out, but that's not having a hold on the market one way or the other. Uh, poor Julian, he was wheeled off in his wheelchair and stuff. Uh, no matter how you feel about him, it, it's been a long road. And he probably He's probably ready for some resolution, too, on this situation. And so we'll see how that shakes out, too. It's not really affecting the market. So you can see oil today had a soft day. It was down even more than that earlier today, but it's still hanging on those high 63s. And we're, we're still expecting that move up to about 70 bucks. Uh, gold for you gold bugs. Gold's been kind of under pressure lately. It's back under that 1300 level now. Hey, 1300 is kind of an inflection point for you traders and uh, for you new traders out there. So it, much like the stock market where it is right now, a lot of the gold bugs are expecting a move off this level. Uh, now, depending on how you feel about the economy and global growth, uh, you might want to go the other way on this. If you think the economy is getting better, if you think global growth is going to get better, if you think interest rates are going to stay right, then uh, you might want to short gold, right? Gold is your safe haven asset. And so, and you know, if we pop over the old uh, yield curve, <laughs> everybody loves to talk about the yield curve. We're still sitting right at that 2.5, uh, which is, you know, we've been a little bit under it, a little bit over it. Um, but as long as it hangs around there and those shorter term yields stay about the same, we should be fine. Now, here's the thing about yield curve inversions. They happen. They do happen. It's when they're when they occur for an extended period, you have to start getting concerned. But just like last week uh, or the, in the last what in the last 20 days, we've had an inversion. Look, we're still almost at all time highs in the market. If you had if you had bailed on that inversion, you would have made a big mistake. Right. You know, always look for some confirmation on your your trades, on your on your ideas. OK, gang. So look, um, if you need a little support, if you need somebody to help you with your trading, if you're looking for a program that cares about you, click that link on the bottom, WIRA.com. Uh, be sure to read the disclaimer while you're down there. We are not a registered investment advisors. We are not certified. Um, this is for entertainment purposes only. This show is our opinions and our opinions only. Um, Always consult a professional before making any investment decisions and read the disclaimer. So look, gang, it'll be a lot more to talk about to, after we see some earnings tomorrow. That's really the focus right now. Um, like I said, the two big banks will be reporting tomorrow, uh, JP Morgan, and you got PNC in there too. And so let's see how it shakes out, and we'll be back tomorrow after the market. Thank you so much for joining us.